guys today we're going to be working with Corel Paint Shop Pro and we're going to get started pretty quickly and this photo is for beginners if you're experienced this is probably not the video for you it's just about getting started and learning how to color a black and white image with this program so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to file and open and I'm going to open my image all right and there's our image and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to adjust hue and saturation and I'm going to make sure that my saturation is all at zero my lightness is at zero and that's going to make sure that the image is completely black and white we're going to go to adjust and we're going to go to brightness and contrast and we're going to go to levels and this is going to give us our levels I'm actually going to move this over better so I can see a little bit better and you see if I pull the slider, it's making it lighter. This is your midpoint. This is going to adjust your shadows. This is going to adjust your whites. And this your darks. Let me see if it'll. There you go. All right. And I'm actually going to do it about like that. And I'm going to push OK. All right, so now we can get started coloring. There's two different ways that I want to show you to color. Um, the first thing I want to show you, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over and we're going to save this as, and right now it's a JPEG down here, but I'm going to go and I want to save this as a PSP image, and that just allows me to use layers and saves the layers in tags. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here on the right, and I'm going to push a new raster layer. When that pulls up, I'm going to change this to color legacy and push OK. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to go over to my paintbrush, click it, and I'm going to make sure my hardness is down for what I'm fixing to do here. I picked this really, really bright pink color because it's easy to see and it, it's just the best for me. So the, the next thing I'm going to do is I actually want to see what the smart edge does. It finds an edge. We don't want to do that. A new paintbrush. Okay, so um, we're just going to go in and start painting her hair. This bright, 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 bright pink. Even though we don't want her hair pink, we're going to paint it pink. It's taken the program a little bit to catch up with what I'm doing. And this isn't going to be real precise. This is just me showing you how to color exactly with this program. And I'm not going to do a lot of cleanup on this one. Like I said, I just want to show you how to use this program. Okay, so now that we've got all of that colored, I want to pull that off her face right there. So that will affect our other colors. I'm 
Okay, so now that we've got that done, let me soften this edge just a bit. Okay, so after we get that done, we're going to push Shift, H, or you can go up to Adjust and go to Hue and Saturation, push Hue, Saturation, and Lightness, and you'll see that the shortcut for that is Shift, H. All right, so if we pull this saturation up, it's going to change our hair color. And if we move this, it's going to change the color as well. And I want this somewhere in the blonde family. I don't want it as saturated as that. And I don't want it that blonde. I want it about right there. And I can actually change this and pull this down just a bit. So that's actually what I'm going to do. And that's one way to get your colors. And I like this because when I started out, I struggled with trying to get the right color a lot and things like that. And it really made it difficult for me because I just got frustrated all the time. And that's not something I don't want for y'all. So... This is a good way to to customize that. So we're going to pick a new layer, new rasticized layer. We're going to go to Color Legacy and push OK. The other way that you can do it is you have swatches here that you can get your custom swatches from or even add swatches. And then you have your, your HSL map, which is your color map. And you can go and attempt to grab the perfect color. It just works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. And I kind of like that color. It's kind of a peachy skin color. And we're going to go in and we're just going to start coloring. Let's get back on my brush here. And I'm going to pull it down. And we're just going to start coloring. And I'm not too worried about the color that it looks right now. And I will show you why. And I didn't get all these little hairs, but that's okay. Um, is, this is just a tutorial, so that's that's perfectly okay. I'm going to make sure you go up to the edge of your photo. Make sure you can see all the edges or you'll end up forgetting places, and I do that quite often. All right, I'm going to take my brush size down a little bit more. And I'm just going to go in and finish coloring up her face here. And her neck. And I'm just going to color with that piece of hair because I didn't bother to do it a while ago. All right. So, now we've got that done, let's, let's go back up so that we can see. I don't want all that up there. Okay. Alright, so now that we've got that, what we can do is go over here beside your layers and you'll see opacity. And we just want to bring that down. And that kind of gives us a more realistic color than that bright, bright orange. I actually want to go in and fix that. And undo paintbrush. And undo. And I want to just color that a little bit because I can see a lot of skin there. It's going to irritate me, even though it's a tutorial. All right, and we're going to go to opacity, and we're going to just start bringing that down until it looks a little more natural. All right. So we're going to go and do another size layer. And I'm going to go back to the bright pink because I really want to show you all that. And I, that worked for me a lot better when I was starting out. So I actually want to zoom in to 100%. And I'm going to take my brush way down. Not that far down, but yeah. And that's about the, the right size. I actually need it down a little bit more for her lips. So I'm going to just start coloring her lips. All 
All right, and name this piece there. And then I'm going to push Shift H, and then I'm going to go find my reds because I want her lipstick pretty red, not that red. Let me pull it down just a tad. And push OK. And then we're going to go in, we're going to do her eyes. So we're going to create another raster layer. We're going to put it back on Color Legacy, push OK. Yeah, and I'm going to zoom into her eyes a little bit more. And I want my brush size down. And I'm going to stay with this pink, and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start coloring her eyes. And then I'm going to push Shift H. And I'm going to go until I find my greens. I don't want it that vibrant. All right. And I could actually go in and do another rest of this layer there. And add a little bit more color detail. around in her eyes, shift H, There we go. And then I'm going to actually show you how to do a little makeup. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. And we're going to go to Color Legacy. I want to make sure definitely that my brush harness is all the way down on this. But I want to bring my brush size up to about the size of the apple of her cheeks. And that's about what it is here. So. Okay, and then I'm going to push Shift H. I'm going to, have to bring this up so that I can see. And I kind of wanted like a little, like a, a little bit of a peach color, about like that. And I'm going to start bringing this opacity down until it blends well. And I could actually go in and do Shift H. And bring it back over this way and do a little more pink. If I wanted to. Like that. So, and there you go. Zoom out. And if you need any adjustments, you can always go back to those layers. Like if we want to adjust her hair some. It looks a little bit on the, maybe a little green. We could actually go back and adjust that. And give it a little better color. So there you go. When we get done with this, there's two ways to save this image. The first one... You're going to push Save As, and you would save it as this PSP image. This PSP image is going to allow you to go back and edit something if you need. You, all of your layers will stay intact. However, you can't post it to places like Facebook and things like that. You will need a JPEG. So if you are done working on this image and you know for, you know, under no circumstance will you be working on this image again, go ahead and save it as a JPEG. And I don't want to replace the original, so I'm just going to add an A there. All right. Now, if you think, oh, well, this is so-and-so's image, and they may need a different 
um, color for their eyes, then you want to save it as that PSP or save it as both so that you have both copies in case you need to edit something. And this says because of the limitations of this file format, and that's because it's a JPEG, um, it's going to have to flatten this image and merge it into one layer. And we want to say that's okay. But if I want it, I could also go back and save it again as a PSP. Save as. And then I could edit it if I should, if, if I ever needed to, if I ever needed to work on this specific image again. And that's really how you're going to color your photos. If you need a sharper edge for something, just turn your hardness up here. Um, look under your adjustments. There are certain adjustments here that, that you may find useful. Um, if you need any help, please let me know. Um, there is a clone tool. I've got to find it again. This is your clone brush here to clone out any impurities. It removes a scratch. You can even remove object. Um, a red eye, and then there's even a makeover one. The makeover one might actually give you options for things like blush. I'm really not sure what the makeover one does. But anyhow, um, that's how you're going to use the program. If you have any questions, please shoot over to Teach Me to Color on Facebook and ask. We'll be happy to help you out. Or you can shoot me a line on YouTube. Our Facebook. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.